Good morning, y'all. Um, it is Friday. Now, I'm going to work and um, continuing with what I do. And um, I just wanted to thank y'all for... Um, know how to word it, it except I just want to thank y'all that support me however much or however little through PayPal. I appreciate it very much. Now, you guys have sent so many suggestions on how to situate the apartment for myself and Terry. And we're going to work that out. And if we can't work it out to our satisfaction, then of course I do have my van. Now Susan Marie asked me, why isn't your van suitable to live in? It is suitable and it is doable. However, for full-time living, it's not nearly as comfortable as the van that I had. And y'all know Tank was amazing. <sighs> yes, and Camp Runamuck, you warned me not to get rid of him. And you were right. I was wrong. But I did what I thought was the best thing. And, um, so it is what it is. And you know what, you guys, I have learned the hard way that whatever your circumstance, you just need to go with the flow. You have to look forward, not backwards. Now, I know sometimes I do look backwards when it comes to regrets for things that I've done, um, you know, things like that, missing my family, but that's not something I do on a daily basis, and I don't wallow in the tragedies that have been in my life to not be able to go on with life after you lose a loved one. They don't want you to do that. They don't want you to be sad and miserable and, and uh, trust me, they don't want you to do that. They want you to be happy. So I kind of feel like I owe it to the family and the friends that I have lost to try to live a good life. So. <laughs> that started out to be about my van. Now, somebody at work has graciously um, agreed to help me fix a better bed in my van. He even has the plywood that I need. And I'm hoping that he's gonna let me video him doing it. And if he doesn't, that's okay. But y'all know that I have that um, 50s coffee table. And um, it's not long enough. And it's definitely not wide enough. But it will make a good, strong base. A good, strong base. And he's going to cut the plywood to the length that I need it. He's going to round off the corners so I'm not killing myself. And then he's gonna, I'm gonna paint the plywood really well. I don't want any fumes coming up. I don't want to deal with any glue smells. And if y'all have been watching Vagabond Mango's van build, you know that she had a problem. And not so much with that, but they used a lot of Proflex. 
and I'll tell you, I used a lot of it on tank too, but it was on the outside. I mean, the like the roof and around the seams of the high top thingy. But anyway, I'm going to paint the plywood really good, top and bottom, and the edges. And um, he's going to bolt the plywood onto the top of the coffee table. Now that's going to give me a nice, solid, flat base for my bed in here. And then y'all know I've got the really thick, high-density foam. Now, y'all, that's the same as what I was sleeping on in tank. It was a wood base with 4-inch high-density foam on it. And I was perfectly comfortable. Now, could it have been a couple inches longer? Yeah. Could it have been a couple inches wider? Yes. I was sleeping on a bed that was 23 inches wide. So, I'm going to make this one a bit wider, but not too much because in a minivan, you don't have that much room. And I've got to be able to have a little bit of, you know, floor space. So, anyway, um, I'm so happy that Larry is going to do that for me. And um, he would do it for nothing, y'all, but... I'm, I can't do that. So, I will pay him a little bit. Not as much as if I had to hire a carpenter or something. So, I'm very, very thankful and grateful to Larry for his help. So, that's what I'm going to do. And you might ask, well, why are you going to go to that trouble when you're going to live in an apartment? Well, y'all... You always have to have a plan. You have to have a backup plan. Um, we never know what can happen from day to day. And I learned, y'all, the hard way from having to live in my car that you don't ever want to be without some kind of a plan. So, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all know that I have to take little trips here and there. And Terry is okay, y'all. He can do without me for a little bit. And when I go to Washington to visit my kids, now that's going to depend on when we open the store and when the move occurs. And I'll work my schedule around that. I'll probably cut my trip a little bit shorter, maybe down to a couple weeks instead of a month. But I want to have a comfortable bed for whatever happens. A longer trip, little camping trips. I'm sure that um, one of these days I'll hook back up with Carolyn and her little group and spend a couple couple days like I have before. And I definitely want to try to go to the 2019 RTR, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. Last time, I mean, I think I spent a day and a night there and I left the next day. And it's because we were having Marge's memorial and I could not not be there for that. So, this time, I want to go, and I want to park way out from the crowd, because y'all know I can't handle that. Oh my gosh, I cannot handle that. But then, I mean, last time, there were a lot of folks that, you know, I wanted to meet up with them. I wanted to meet them and spend a little bit of time talking to them. They watch my channel. And I love to meet you guys. So that's a really good time to do it. So I want to park away from everybody, but still be accessible. And then folks can come and visit. And that'll be so much fun, y'all. And I don't want to miss that. And after all, the RTR is only about a five-hour drive from here, which is not bad. You split it up. 
Uh, you don't have to even do it all in one day if you don't want to. But it's really important for me to have a comfortable bed. If I have a bed and a potty, I'm good. The difficult thing is that I don't have a fantastic fan. I don't have solar. You know, but you can still do it. Lots of folks live in their cars. And boy, I give them credit for that, y'all. It is not easy. It is not easy. Now, if you've got really good kidneys, it's a bit easier. If you don't have a bad back, it's a bit easier. But still, y'all, that's it's not easy to do that. And my van is much more comfortable than a car. I couldn't do it in a car now, y'all, unless I had absolutely no choice. So, anyway, y'all, that's just kind of a little update on several things. And y'all know that's kind of how I do stuff. But, anyway, I'm going to go and work today. And making this video and working is... Um, that's my fun stuff today, y'all. It'll be a lot easier when Terry and I move over to Oceanside because then it's not gonna be a 30 minute trip to work or anywhere else. And it's not gonna be a 30 minute trip back, especially in rush hour traffic. I love y'all. Please do something fun today. Oh, and one more thing. Don't get all, you know, worried if I don't make a video every day. I'm a lot busier now that I go to work three or four times a week. Um, so it takes up quite a bit of my time. I'm still going to do my best to at least heart your comments. I can't answer all of them no matter how much I wish I could. But I will do my best and I'll make videos probably at least every other day unless I run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. Can you imagine me running out of stuff to talk about? Oh yeah, really. Okay, y'all, do something fun today, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.